don't do many videos of this anymore, do you? Well, in case you're wondering, it still gets ridden. It <sighs> gets raced and ridden. Got this uh, Trials tire on here. It's, uh, I've had it for a while, just put it on my stock bike. and uh, Been having traction issues with that tire. You'd think it would be pretty good on slick tracks, but it's actually pretty slippery. But you can see these tires are ridden right to the edge. And, uh, well, at least on the left side they are. The right side doesn't get ridden very much. But, uh, yeah, they just don't don't grip enough for uh, for what I'm doing. And other people on bigger bikes, they're using the same tire, but in a different size. And uh, they've been having pretty good luck with these, so I'm going to try it out next time. Hopefully it gets better grip. What else did I do? I uh, put a quicker turning throttle. This is off a 1990 Honda CR80. Guess where I got that from. Uh, so hopefully that'll allow me to not get my wrist cramping as much because I won't have to turn it as far. Uh, and the last thing that, uh, that I'd like to do for my next outing is install my Honda Trail Bikes gasket kit. Because uh, last time I put this motor together I didn't use any silicone sealant around the oil passages and now it drips oil onto the skid plate. So. To alleviate that mess, I spent the 16 or so dollars to get this shipped to my house, and uh, now I'm going to put it on, so I figured you guys might like to watch. Civic Project, anybody? Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let's get this exhaust off. Okay, so we got that disconnected, oil cooler lines. Spark plug, cable, clutch cable thing. And, uh, I guess we'll go to the other side. See what there's to do over here. Uh, I guess we'll disconnect the fuel line, disconnect the throttle cable, uh, the electronics, and the chain. Cool uh, tool tech for you guys. If you're like me, you like new tools. So uh, let me show you my master link pliers. It's a regular set of slip joint pliers, but you uh, grind one of the sides down. So it's like a little bit shorter, and then the shorter side you also grind a uh, notch into it, and that fits over the pin of the ply of the of the chain master link. Master link tool. Put that uh, the pin goes right into that notch, and then kablam! Look at that. And it lands on your shoe every single time. This is a great tool. So I just lifted the bike up off the the uh, the motor, and even though the Z50 kickstand is mounted to the mo bottom of the motor, my sweet custom side stand mounts to the frame. Holds it up. All right, so now I'll start pulling the top end off this motor. First thing to do is uh, we'll remove. We won't remove the intake manifold from the head because uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, what I need to focus on is the uh, the rocker cover gasket, head gasket, and the base gasket. So. First thing to do is remove the cam chain. So to do that, you have to remove the cam sprocket cover, which is a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Goes all the way through and holds that on. Cam sprocket loosens off with uh, comes off with those two 8 millimeter bolts there. To see if your cam chain is tight, you can put it to TDC, not on the compression stroke, but on the valve overlap. And if uh, your cam shaft is not moving. your crank is, and obviously you can see the chain there, it's got some slack. So to tighten that up, you just adjust it with the, uh, you loosen the lock nut, you loosen the screw, you turn the motor forward, which puts slack on the, ten on the side with the tensioner, and it'll automatically tension, and while you have tension pointing with the motor rotating normally, you tighten that set screw and tighten the lock nut. Alright, so uh, now we got the top end of the motor off here. Piston looks real good. It's got uh, no scoring at all. I mean, it's got uh, obviously a little bit of wear there, but nothing abnormal. A little bit of wear there, but nothing abnormal. The cylinder looks good. Hard to really get it on camera. You know, it reflects all sorts of different ways. And, but. Alrighty, well, let's see. We got her all back together now. I took it around the block once, and... Uh, you know, we don't have any oil so far, but there's no way to really tell without taking it to the track. 
because that's the only way I'll get to uh, really put some oil pressure into it. So uh, we'll see. 